Hi, I'm Ailey for Design Break and today I'm going to show you how we use Monday.com to plan our content. So this is just going to be a really quick overview of how we've set up Monday.com to uh, plan our content. So that's uh, blog posts on our website, uh, YouTube videos, Instagram posts and just sort of everything that we put out. So for anyone that doesn't know, Monday.com is a management tool that you can use, you can really customize it and use it to get a good visual overview of your projects, uh, either individually or in a team. Um, it's really powerful uh, and there's so many customization options um, that you can really do anything you want with it. So this is just how we've used it um, to plan our content. Okay, so this is what our content planning board looks like. So there are a few fields that we don't use um, all the time, but we've kind of set it up to be versatile enough that we can use it for all of the different channels that we uh, want to plan and sort of put content out for. So at the top, um, we've just got our channel description just so we've always got that there to remind ourselves um, to stay on track and sort of what we're aiming to do with all the content we put out. So the way we structure our content is sort of in three different aspects. So we've got joint content that we're both going to be in. Um, and then we've got my content and Daniel's content. So Daniel focuses more on like website building and the technical aspects and the software and technology. And I focus more on like the branding, uh, creative and organizational side of the business. So we've kind of set up our Monday uh, content board like that. So different tables, we've got joint ideas that we're both going to be in. We've got my content ideas and we've got Daniel's content ideas. And then we've also got a back burner of like um, sort of half formed ideas or ideas that we're not actively working on that are maybe just on hold for the time being that we don't want to completely sort of delete yet. So looking at the tables um, along the top, we've got the first column obviously is just the, like the, the name of the idea. Um, and then I've got this, um, this column sort of describing the sort of the heat of it. So if it's super relevant and it's something that we really want to post quite soon, um, obviously we'll give it three stars, two and then one, and then ones that we're not, maybe not wanting to focus on um, too much just now where they're not a priority, we don't really mark them. So this is kind of, with, with long lists like this, it can get e easy to sort of forget ideas that you maybe had, uh, especially when you're trying to keep a big pool of ideas. Um, so these two, columns at the first, at the start are probably the most important because we want to keep a good overview of ones that we really want to keep a priority on and um, think about posting soon. Um, and then we've just got another text, long text field in here where we can add like a link that we can quickly access or if we want to put a little bit more description in there uh, in addition to what the title is, we can do that. And then if we've got um, further information we want to put in, uh, we can just put that in there in the comments. Uh, section just next to the title there. Uh, so next we've got the legend and this is kind of for us to make sure we're putting out a good spread of content and not just always focusing on the same sort of uh, topic. So we've got um, like showing our work, we've got helpful info, uh, nice stuff, that's kind of just like nice design stuff that we're interested in, fun and relevant, talking shop, so that's kind of like putting out content for other designers, kind of talking about how we run our agency and um, yeah, that kind of thing. And then design reviews. So sometimes stuff doesn't fit into all of these categories and we don't want to be super segmented about it, but we like to get a good idea that we're putting out a spread of content and not just focusing on, on one thing all the time. Um, the next column is we've got the owner. So this doesn't always make sense. Um, for the way that this board is set up, because we've got the joint ideas that obviously we'd both be in. Then we've got my ideas that I would be the owner of, and then Daniel's ideas that he would be the owner of. But I kind of set up this column because it allows you to get, uh, to easier, more easily get notifications of like deadlines and things like that that you've set on each sort of um, topic. And then we've got status, um, just sort of, saying if we want to work on it soon, if we are working on it, if it's on hold, if it's done but it needs reviewed or if it's published. We've set up an automation 
So when it's changed to published, it will automatically go into the um, the published board. So it'll sort of go away automatically, and you won't it won't still be there, and you don't have to manually delete it. So this is quite handy because if you've started working on something like a blog post, um, and you've maybe spent a couple of hours on it, but it's not ready yet, you can mark it as working on it. So you don't sort of forget that you've started that and you can you can just get a quick overview that there's something that's not finished um, that you still need to sort of go back and polish up. Um, publish date, we don't use this as much as we probably would like to. We're, um, we don't forward plan as much all the time. Uh, and if we do, we sometimes uh, just use our, our written diaries to do that. Um, but if we if we do have like a schedule that we're putting out of different videos, then we can put in a publish date, which allows us to sort of get an overview of um, what video needs to be ready for what date. And then lastly, we've got the channel column. So a lot of the content that we put out goes on multiple channels. It's not just YouTube. It might go on the blog first and then we'll repurpose it into a YouTube video or vice versa. Um, so a lot of these are tagged with multiple, but um, it's just good to get an overview of what channel we intend the content to be for or what what the priority is for when we're putting it together. Anyway, yeah, so that was just a really quick overview of how we've set up our board to manage content. I kind of just use this day to day. I'll notice I'll be working on something and then I'll get an idea uh, for a video I want to make or for a blog post. And I'll just quickly go into Monday and just write it down here so I'm not having to write it on scraps of paper and try and remember and then add it to a list somewhere. Um, I just kind of add it as the ideas come to me and then I can keep on focusing on what I was concentrating on before and not try and um, remember it and, and remember to, to make that video or blog post. Anyway, yeah, so I hope that this video was uh, helpful for you and if you've got any ideas of how we can improve our boards or if you'd like to share your uh, process for planning your content, I'd love to hear how you do it. So just let me know. Thanks. Bye.